lying lifeless on the ground that day. The lioness could see stars shimmering in front of her eyes. As darkness began to settle in, she wondered, is this the end? Contest master and my dear roaring pack of lions, it was a bright Saturday morning when the alarm that was supposed to go off at 4 a.m. went off at 8 a.m. Or maybe I lost it. So the trip, which had to start at 6 a.m., began at 11 a.m. Following a joyous car ride, I, with my two friends, reached the base of the Savan Dukkha Hill, Asia's largest monolith. And as we stepped outside the car, we were embraced by the bone burning scorching sun, sucking the life out of our plump bodies. I had waited two long years for this trek to quench my thirst for adventure. This petty sun would not stop me now. With two kg of snacks, two liters of bisleri water, and sunscreen on my face, I ran with full vigor towards the mountain. Five minutes down the line, my sprint turned into a walk. Ten minutes down the line, my walk turned into a crawl. And finally, darkness crept in. And I saw stars dancing in front of my eyes. The lioness had fainted. The mountain and the sun had vanquished her. Was this the end for the lioness? Was this the end for me? As we went ahead and as I looked at my friends, I saw him holding a can of red wood. And there was Naveen dragging my lifeless body towards the shade. Man, how did this happen to me? Wait, I can't faint. If I can't run, I will walk. If I can't walk, I will crawl. But I won't stop till I reach the top. I am the lioness, the queen of the mountain. So I snatched the can of Red Bull from my friend, threw my backpack at his face, and set up for my quest. Two minutes down the line, there I sat, panting on a rock with another can of Red Bull. And as I looked ahead, I could see the mighty wall and a nearly vertical climb. But I am the lioness, the queen of this pathetic mountain. <coughs> After guzzling million gallons of water and making billion pit stops, I finally found the bright blue sky stretched endlessly towards the horizon. As I looked down, I could see the river cutting across the hill and its lush green meadows. I was there. It was all worth it. I did it! The lioness did it! Oh, hello. If you are done, done, can you please carry your stone-filled backpack? And in that moment, I had an epiphany. All this while, I thought that I conquered the mountain and the sun. I walked, I crawled, and I did. And in fact, the truth was that my friends didn't quit on me. There stood Ayush holding his bag at the back, lugging my bag in the front while dragging me up the hill. And there was Naveen 
lioness. I could conquer everything on my own. But I discovered that the real strength of a lioness lies with her back. My dear roaring pack of lions, it is okay to lean on others. We don't have to do everything on our own. Even the mighty lions hunt in our pack. Remember, the greatness of your pack is what makes you great. What is my